what I normally have for this, namely a very large head of lettuce and cranberries. So we'll be figuring it out. But I really do like this coleslaw recipe. It calls for nine cups of shredded cabbage, one can of pineapple tidbits, one and a half cups mayonnaise, uh, half cup of vinegar, half cup of sugar, uh, a teaspoon of celery salt, three cups of mini marshmallows, and one and a half cups dried cranberries. This is not going to be nine cups, so we're going to look and see how much it actually turns out to be, and then we'll figure it out from there. I've got my lovely Petco bread knife, which is really good for shredding lettuce and cabbage. Wow, that's got a really big center. Wow, it does. This cabbage. Do you need me to cut, just cut out the centers on those real quick for you? No, I can Wow. We're doing our stream early this week because we have some stuff to do later tonight. So I know normally a coleslaw is shredded into, you know, long, fine things, but I'm not good at that. So I just do really small squares. I can do really small squares really easily with my tools. Okay. Just a little piece. It's fine, probably. One cup. Two cups. And now I go back to cutting things. And I need to make these all much smaller now. Jessie is much better at this than I am. So this is her show tonight. <laughs> well, also, you don't eat coleslaw. Also, I don't eat coleslaw. <laughs> you should, but you don't. You really don't. Coleslaw is good for you. I really don't like it for many reasons. Well, because you don't like cabbage. Yes. You'll eat cooked cabbage occasionally. Cooked cabbage is also pretty good. It's what kept peasants alive for ages and ages. <laughs> So how many cups did I already put in there? Just two, right? Just two so far. essentially five. Okay, so I need to five ninths this recipe. <laughs> so You could also just half it. Well, I can also just go slightly over half. Uh, the bits I like out of the tropical medley. Ooh, those are tough dry fruits. Those are going to have to crumble instead of cut. 
So we've got bananas and whatever this red stuff is. We have had the tropical medley for a bit now. We have had the tropical. Well, bananas are really crunchy when you dry them. They don't have chewiness like some of the other things ah, do. Ah, got it. We apologize if there's more background noise on this one than usual. And two plums. No, three plums. Three plums. all of these fruits have different consistencies, so trying to cut them all together is actually rather difficult. Oh, it'd be much too easy otherwise. nicely chopped though. Mm -hmm. Just has to be chopped enough that it mixes in and it doesn't give you a giant mouthful of dried fruit when you know. Just take a bite of coleslaw. Okay. Yeah, you guessed right about the Good job. Okay, now it calls for a 20 ounce can of pineapple juice, or not pineapple juice, pineapples, juice drained. I have an 8 ounce can, so I'm just going to use the whole thing. But you not mind. But you're going to drain the juice, right? Yes, I'm going to drain the juice into this lovely little receptacle right here, so you can use the pineapple juice for stuff. Pineapple juice from the pineapple tidbits containers to make a lovely curry uh, sweet jelly salmon. salmon dish. Now, I should be good and chop the pineapple tidbits a little bit because they're slightly too big to be pleasant.
It is very helpful to have everything be about the same size. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. Now, I know most people don't have a preference, but when they say mayonnaise, they mean mayonnaise. Miracle Whip, even though I grew up on it, is a travesty these days to me, so don't use it. <laughs> just under a cup of If I'm careful, it should be enough space. Celery salt, which means half a teaspoon. Now, the celery salt technically it calls for salt and celery seed, but I don't have that. I have celery salt, and it works just fine. And the amount of celery salt is really up to you. get to watch me try to mix in a tiny, tiny bowl. Well, we do have those itty bitty whisks now. Honestly, that would help. Okay, itty bitty whisks. The point is that you don't want your mayo to be lumpy. You want a nice, smooth goo that you can pour over all of this stuff. Okay, as possible. Now, if you are going to serve this now, you can mix in the marshmallows. If you're going to serve it later, I would not mix in the marshmallows yet because they do get slightly soggy. This just will not be a sweet thingy. Oh well, it's full of pineapple and fruit. It'll be sweet enough. You got enough, <laughs> enough uh, fruit in there, then it should be pretty good. It only would have been like a quarter cup of sugar anyway. So. I'm going 
going to eat some of it now. So I'm putting my marshmallows in now. And then you refrigerate it. Technically, you should refrigerate it for a while before you serve it to make it all nice and cold. But most of my ingredients came out of the fridge anyway, so I'm going to call it good enough. How's the end result? Yep. Like coleslaw. Like coleslaw. More color, more coleslaw than usual. Yes. Usually it's just kind of whitish green with a pop of red, but now it's got all sorts of colors. Awesome. Yeah, yes, you can. Whee! Yep, coleslaw. Coleslaw. Delicious coleslaw that's not too cabbagey. It's more fruity than cabbagey, which I enjoy. Awesome. Have a good day, y'all.